welcome back in this video tutorial we'll look at how to construct our own custom ethernet header and send it out onto the network in this programming example all we'll do is construct the ethernet header we'll have no headers after that for the time being just for clarity sake and this small ethernet header of 14 bytes we'll just write onto the network and see if whatever we have written really gets transmitted or not let's uh, quickly have a look at the program we mentioned the source ethernet address and the destination ethernet address here this is what we are going to use in our packet we are all familiar with the create raw socket routine as well as the bind raw socket routine and the send raw packet routine right I have added an additional printf here which shows the length of the packet which got sent out and just in case you couldn't send it then maybe the number of bytes you could write this is the create ethernet header routine we will come back to this and then finally the main function now let's run through main first to grasp the logical steps in the program so first of all as in the previous case we have a raw socket in draw but this time what we do is instead of allocating a fixed size buffer we just declare a pointer to an unsigned character space and then an integer which is called eth header underscore len this will contain the ethernet header length so now first of all we create the raw socket as in the previous example then bind this raw socket the next thing which we do here is create ethernet header in which we see that packet actually stores something which create ethernet header returns and then after that we basically find out the ethernet header length by doing a size of struct eth hdr then we send the raw packet giving it the socket the packet which was created and the length of the packet which is nothing but length of the ethernet header as input and then we go ahead and free the memory space allocated and close the socket now before moving into how we create the ethernet header using create ethernet header let's look at the struct eth header itself so the struct eth header is defined in linux slash if underscore ether dot h so this is where the ethernet header is defined as you can notice it just consists of three members the first is h underscore dest of size eth underscore len eth underscore len if you find out would be six for ethernet so this is the destination address this is the source address and this is the two byte protocol field in the ethernet header so in order to construct an ethernet header we need to formulate this structure in memory and then fill up the appropriate members of the structure according to what we want to send out on the network coming back now let's go to the create ethernet header function it's all well commented so you should not have a problem we declare a pointer of type struct eth header star then we go ahead and allocate memory and then assign that memory space to this pointer after that what we do is we copy the source MAC address into this structure you are already familiar eth underscore a to n is what is used to convert the source underscore MAC from ASCII format to binary format and we have declared source underscore sorry source underscore mac as here source underscore eth underscore addr and this is the destination address and both of which we pass to this function from main right along with this the ether type underscore ip as well now coming back so we get the source mac the destination mac and the protocol as input we go ahead first fill up the source mac 
then the destination MAC. Both the MACs are converted from the ASCII representation to the network by order, odd order representation or binary representation using ether underscore A to N. Then we go ahead and copy the protocol field by doing an H tones on the protocol ether type underscore IP. After this we are done because the ethernet header just consists of three fields and a total of 14 bytes. Six for the source MAC, six for the destination MAC, two for the protocol. Then we return this ethernet header back to the calling program function. Sorry. And once this is received, we go ahead and also find out the ethernet header line. We know it's 14, but it's a good practice normally not to hard code these things. Instead, find it out programmatically. Then we go ahead and send this packet out. So let's try and run this program. compiled as we can see the input to this program this time is just the interface and no number of packets sorry let's go ahead and start off our sniffer this time we've created a different filter for TCP dump and which says ether source nothing but always start this off also we start our ethereal program and in the that as well we do the same thing we start this off as well starting okay both programs both sniffers have been started go ahead send out the packet it says packet sent 14 packet length is 14 and packet was sent out successfully let's look at TCP dump first as you will notice that the destination address the source address and then finally the protocol this is all this packet consists of and this is all that has been sent out now interestingly in the case of this version of ethereal there seems to be a bug because it shows the source address to be all A's, destination to be all B's and then the IP ty and the type to be IP but after that somehow it also adds on an extra padding of around 40 bytes now I have verified with the latest version of Ethereal that there is a bug the latest version does not show this anomaly so ironically we also find a bug here we can just look at about file this bug if you want to it's in version 0 10 14 the packet is just 14 bytes but somehow it shows 60 bytes i verified with the latest version which is wireshark and it only shows 14 bytes anyway coming back so the point is that we have now just created a simple ethernet header of 14 bytes and sent it out this is just to show a step by step building up of various headers so that we can get a very so that basically our fundamentals are strengthened first before we move on into more complicated examples in the next example we will build the IP header so now first the ethernet header and then the IP header and then we will just send these two out onto the network thank you